All right, guys. Uh, welcome to one more session of uh, Focuteer uh, Entertainment. Today, I'll be showing uh, how to create a first backup job in Veritas Backup Exec 16. Okay, this is a, a beginner's tutorial. So I'm just launching the backup exec by double clicking on the icon. So this is a new interface. It's like red to So it's taking its own time to, to load. Just because it's just a test and test environment, right? So, okay, so, right, so I'm going to just create a, a, a quickly uh, a, a test backup job, all right? And we will also um, uh, run. So this, this pop-up window will come so every time. You can just check this one if you don't want. Just click on close. Right, go to the backup and restore tab, and now uh, what we're gonna do is just click on this one. So I just want to see if I select backup to cloud, what options we are getting. So we already know backup to disk and backup to disk, then convert to virtual machine, backup to disk, and simultaneously convert to virtual machine. So we will test all these one by one. So very curious to see what is there in this. Right, it says uh, cloud storage not configured. You must configure a cloud storage before you can run a backup to cloud. Click OK to configure a cloud storage. Right, I've just clicked on OK. I just want to see. All right, so this is asking, so this is a wizard. So description, my first cloud backup. Okay. So click on next. So it's asking. So currently, it's it's only supporting one is Microsoft Azure and Amazon S3. All right. So it says there is a, a some cloud providers require encryption to be enabled. So you can follow the uh, the tech note how to enable the the encryption. Okay. So if I select Azure and click on next. So it's asking for the cloud storage. It only supports Azure, China, and Azure. So I'll select Azure and login account. So it says the system login account cannot be used for cloud backup. So my local admin account will not be, uh, we cannot use it. So you should have a Azure subscription, okay? So you have to use that particular one. All right, click on edit. You can add this one here, All right? So for example, mine is like, I can see, let me try this one, but I know whether it's gonna work. Let me put my So this is a restricted account or this is a login account. So just uncheck that one. This is my uh, uh, Azure portal subscription uh, admin uh, email ID and the password. So just click on OK. So it's adding the account now. All right. So click on OK here. So currently the login, the login account for Azure. OK, just click on next here. The server is unable to complete the requested operation because uh, I'm not online. So let me uh, bring my this thing. Right, guys, I think uh, I don't want to stop you guys, so just click on cancel here. So you can just proceed with the uh, uh, this thing, okay? So I'll have a backup to disk. Disk storage not configured, so I'm just uh, uh, disk storage one. So it will go to the E drive. So the concurrent operations you can configure. Okay, so by, I'm just going with the default two okay so click on finish 
so it will it will create a, a disk storage okay so now we are defining the the backup job all right so just want to give some very specific like test backup okay and uh, so it says fully selected which I don't want actually I want just edit this one all right I don't want the complete server just want to have a Just want to have this uh, B data simple. Okay, so click on OK here, and I want to just edit the. Uh, it should be a one-time job, so I don't want to just go to. Uh, um, So run now with no recurring schedule okay so create a without a schedule click on okay so this is just a one-time job all right and the retention is two weeks you want to say okay click on okay so it's showing so it's created now okay it says the last backup is running on Thursday so it just started just now right I'll go to the job monitor so it says backup successful right so it says backup successful and 100% right and it also gives what are the byte count it gives you full information out here this is pretty cool right so if you click on storage we just created a, a disk storage so it's showing here and you can check the properties and everything check the catalog inventory right diagnostics you can run uh, whatever it is and go to the reports see completed you don't have reports yet so uh, let's uh, run a, a report description test so category job so just want to see backup rate detail device name byte processed right uh, data transfer rate I want to see right so yeah click on ok change job devices alerts alert history you can configure whatever you want right so you go to the home we should see the backup status here successful one ok and it also shows that the storage status here so this get updated right so if I see just one day it should say right to this date right so so this is how you configure a backup and you trigger a test backup right so um, let's go back here mm. job history so it says it just took a very very short time because we're just backing up a very small this thing right so this is the job log so let's see whether the job log has been changed anything in 16 or the same so they gave the same thing device and my media information where it will show your uh, destination uh, uh, storage and uh, backup operation it says compression none encryption none right so it gives the the server information 
all right so gives the uh, the content backup set summary and it's a verify operation right and job completion so this is just a default what we have uh, similar in uh, backup exec 15 all right so all right so this is about the the first backup configuring and uh, running a test backup job in backup exec uh, 16 all right so i want to just cover uh, some advanced topic in my next couple of videos so stay tuned guys and thank you so much for watching have a nice day